standard form, this is the way that we write very large or very small numbers easily. And we're going to add and subtract them. Quick recap on the formula for standard form. A times 10 to the power of n. Now A is always between 1 and 10, not including 10. And n tells us how many places to move the decimal. And for this one, we've got the same powers of 3. So we need to change them to ordinary numbers. So if we write these down and we're going to count 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2. Two, three. Okay, we're going to add these together, which is going to give us 4800. Zero, zero. Here's our key. Let's remember our 1 in 10. So we put the decimal place here, giving us 4.8. And we count 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 4.8 times 10 to the power of 3. So for this question, it's a subtraction but it's the same powers. So we can actually just do it by calculating the front two numbers. So 4.4 .4 minus 2.3 would give us 2.1, and that's in the same power, so that would be times 10 to the power of two. But if they wanted the answer in ordinary numbers, you would need to change it back like so. For this question, you can see the powers are different. Now to work it out, you need to make the powers the same. And it's easier if you go to the larger number. So we're gonna change that to the power of five. Because you've increased that side, you need to decrease the other side to balance. So we're gonna make that 0 0.29. So let's do the calculation. And as you can see, 10 minus nine is one, six minus two is four, three minus zero is three, so the answer in standard form, 3.41 times 10 to the power of 5, or like shown for ordinary number. So for this one, we have negative powers and they're different. So we need to change it to the larger number, which is going to be negative 2. OK, so then we reduce the other side to balance. So we have 0.8 plus 7, which is going to give us 7.8. And that would be times 10 to the power of negative 2. Or if we want to put it into ordinary numbers, 7.8 and move once, twice, giving us 0 0.078. So let's have a look at this one. It's the same powers, and we're going to convert them into ordinary numbers and add it up. OK, so here's our answer. Now, not forgetting the key, 1 and 10. We need to change this to 1.16, placing the decimal here. Now, let's count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer is 1.16 times 10 to the power of 4.